Tēnātātou katoa, good evening. Firefighters are tonight battling a huge blaze on Christchurch's Port Hills with 15 fire trucks and almost a dozen helicopters working to contain the fire. It's forced the evacuation of some Westmoreland residents with airy similarities to the 2017 Port Hills fire that claimed the life of a helicopter pilot seven years ago today. Juliet Speedy is at the scene and Juliet, how bad is it? Well, Mike, the answer to that is it is bad. And as far as we can tell, it still seems to be growing. It is a scorching hot day here in Christchurch. And the ground here is also scorched and very dry after a long, hot and dry summer down here in Canterbury. Now, this fire kicked off just after 2 o'clock this afternoon. And firefighters are battling the blaze still with all of their might. As you just said, a number of residents have already been evacuated. And two evacuation centres have been set up. But surrounding areas have also been warned that they may be required to evacuate. And and people can self-evacuate if they feel the need. It's a race against time. Residents are scrambling to evacuate as the latest Port Hill fires escalate. Police erected a cordon and are urging the public to avoid the area around Worsley's track. Uh, it's bloody painful. We've only just settled from the first fire. Um, it's been years of rebuilding, but, uh, yeah, hopefully the... Uh, what's happened in the Avenger Park again this time is uh, it's not the same ending as last time. That was seven years ago. This is now and people have long and raw memories. Today's fire began in vegetation and soon smoke was seen billowing across the sky. Emergency services sent out an alert saying a wildfire was burning near Worsley Spur. We only just moved in here so it's a bit nerve wracking. Um, yeah, and just having a little one and a little one on the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just chaotic. This woman's pregnant and moved to the area to make new memories with her young family, but her husband is stuck on the other side of the cordon. She's got to get ready in case it's a long evacuation. We're talking to the other residents yeah. and they're telling us that they were shut out for 11 days last time. Yeah. It's just like you feel like you need to be really prepared. Yeah. And I'm not prepared. <laughs> Locals, meanwhile, watched in shock as the fire gained in intensity. Their homes vulnerable once again. Yeah, my daughter just came home and uh, she's 19, burst into tears and said, we're not going to evacuate again. So I'm hoping we're not, but looking over there, it looks pretty nasty. I, I wasn't actually in Christchurch for the, for the last fire. scary that it's so close to the city. Helicopters douse the flames with monsoon buckets. Residents are all hoping the wind keeps blowing away from homes. Luckily at the moment the wind's blowing the right way but uh, if it changes we um, could be in trouble. But as the wind keeps blowing a community holds its breath. And the staggering and tragic thing is that it is not only seven years ago that people in this area lost their homes, but it is seven years ago to this day that firefighter Steve Askin lost his life fighting a fire in this exact same area. And in fact, the houses you can see behind me, there is a street there named after him. So you can imagine how keenly this is being felt by these nearby residents, but also by the first responders dealing with this one today. Absolutely. That's Juliet Speedy live for us at Port Hills. Thanks very much for keeping us updated.